I know why you're here. You, like me, bought the cheap A95X. And as you click buy on the website that you were going to buy it from, or the dealer you were going to buy it from, you thought, it's only X amount of dollars. What could go wrong? And now you're finding out that it crashes all the time. You may even be like me and have tried a custom ROM, only to find that it probably wasn't any better than the stock ROM. And now, like me, you've had enough. You're doing one last search out there to find possibly a solution to fix this awful running box. You've had enough of the crashes. I've had enough of the crashes. Last week, it crashed, and I said, I've had enough of this box. I want to smash it. I hate it. It is probably the worst Android box I have ever owned. And I'm not joking. I've owned them all. I've owned the ones with the big antennas sticking out the back. I've owned the MXQs. I have owned a variety of Android boxes, and by far, this one has been the worst performing. Worst stability. So what's the solution? In a nutshell, you're gonna put LibreELEC on an SD card. If you're not familiar with LibreELEC, LibreELEC is a small operating system with Kodi. And what you can do with Android boxes is boot off that SD card into LibreELEC, which is Kodi, basically. And it runs completely separate from the internal memory of the Android system. And what I mean is you're not doing anything that modifies the internal contents of your Android box. And you'll find that it runs like a champ compared to the A95X. And if you decide you don't like it, you just simply remove the SD card from the Android box and you're back to where you were before you did this process. Now there's going to be some steps here that are a little tricky, not, not anything major, but there's tons of tutorials out there. But what I've done is I've made it easy because I know the files that you need to do this. And I'm going to have a link below. You can download all the files in a zip file. Now the only thing that you need to be aware of is your A95X might be slightly different. And what I mean is there might be a, a slight hardware change. I'm going to give you a link to other device trees. And I know it sounds it sounds complicated. It, it really isn't. Okay? So bear with me. And we'll, we'll go through this. And we'll get you running LibreELEC off an SD card. So what you need to do is go find an SD card. 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte. Doesn't matter. Just go find an SD card. And then come back, restart the video. In the zip file, there's three files. There's the Libra Elec USB-SD creator. And that's what's used to create your SD card. There's the Libra Elec image file, which is the operating system with Kodi. Now in this case, Kodi is Krypton, so the newest version of Kodi. And more importantly is this file here, the dtb.img file. The dtb.img file contains all the device hardware information, so all the hardware that's in the A95X. This is the file that tells LibreELEC how to handle that hardware. So this is very important. Now, in a perfect world, you'll load this into the SD card and everything should work. So we're gonna go on the assumption that this is going to work first off. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is run the LibreELEC USB slash SD card creator. Now you'll see when you load it, it has all this select version, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. You don't need that. What you're going to do is you're going to select file and you're going to pick the file that's in the zip file. The one that starts with LibreELEC-S905.ARM and ends in the .gz. Now you may not see GZ if you have uh, hide file extensions turned on in your computer, but that's the file you need to use. So once you've done that, you're going to click write. And it will ask you, do you want to do this? Because it's going to be wiped. You hit yes. And now 
it's writing. And in my case, it's slower because I'm using an older SD card. The faster the SD card you use, the better. It makes everything run all that much faster when you're running it in your Android box. Now, rather than have you sit here and wait the 40 seconds while this does its thing, it will just say write complete or write finished when it's done. So I'm going to forego you the time wasted looking at a progress bar. Now, the last step in preparing the SD card is to copy this dtb.img file to the root of the SD card. So you're going to right click it, copy, and then you're going to uh, right click and paste it into the SD card. Now for this last part, you put the SD card into the A95X. And what I like to do is pull the power from the wall as opposed to pulling the power from the box. And you'll find out why if you try pulling the power from the box. The cable's just really snug. So you pull the power from the box, and then you stick a toothpick into the AV hole. Very gently, and you'll, you'll hit a button. There's a button on the end of that hole there. So if you gently put a toothpick in and push it, or I use a jeweler's screwdriver. They say you're not supposed to use metal. Uh, for me, I've used metal, no problems. So if you can't find a toothpick, you know, a little jeweler's screwdriver or a paper clip will do. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep pushing that button. And while you're holding that button in, you're going to apply power to the box. And you keep holding that, that button in until you see the words Libra Elect. And then you can release that button and you're good to go. So what will happen is it will say a bunch of stuff on the screen, Libra Elect, blah, 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 blah. And then it will reboot. And with any luck, it will boot into Cody. Now, if it doesn't do anything when you're holding that button down and it just, it just doesn't load, it, it freezes on the A95X screen, then there's probably an issue with your dtb.image file. Remember we talked about this earlier? So something is not matching. If you don't have the DTB image file on the SD card or you've got the wrong one, it will not boot properly. I will cover what to do if your DTB file is not the right one, or I'll provide links where you can find other DTB files to test. I forgot to mention that this toothpick method or the, the reset of the A95X, it's a one-time thing as far as you can unplug after you've you know loaded into Kodi, you're good to go. You can unplug the box, plug it back in. As long as the SD card's in there, it's going to boot right back into Libra Lec. Now, if you pull the SD card, reboot, it will boot into Android the way it was before you did anything to the box. So it's just like it was. So no internal modifications to the box. However, if you want to go back to Libra Lec, you're doing the toothpick thing again. So you're putting the card back in then doing the toothpick trick. If everything's working fine with your Cody, if you've got to this point, you're like, hey, everything's working, great. You're good to go. If you're one of the unfortunate few who this did not work for, it could be that your device file is not the right one for the hardware, which does happen. You think that when they make something, they're all the same. There's different variations of uh, boards and stuff that come out of China. Some of them have different Wi-Fi chips, so you may find that you do this. It looks great, then you go to set up your Wi-Fi and it doesn't work. It's because there's been a hardware change or there's a hardware difference and the DTB file does not cover that hardware change. If you're one of the unfortunate few who this didn't work for, it just wouldn't boot, wouldn't get past the A95X splash logo, then chances are your DTB file is not correct with your hardware. So underneath, there'll be a link to the device trees and in my case, it was the S905 chip that's in the box. I thought it was a 905X. That's not the case. It's 905. So by going into there, you'll see that there's a list of different hardware uh, profiles. If your Wi-Fi isn't working, then try the Realtek Wi-Fi DTB. Now what you're going to do is you're going to download this file. You're going to rename it to DTB.IMG. Again, D is in Delta, Thomas, Bravo, dot IMG. And you're going to drag that to the SD card. And then you're going to try the reset set with the toothpick process all over again. And you should know within a minute of, of hitting that reset and powering up 
whether or not it's going to work. You shouldn't be sitting there for five minutes with a toothpick in the back of the Android box. It's not going to go. So, again, give it about a minute to hit the Libra Alex screen. And then if you see, see the Libra Alex screen, you're good to go. If you don't, then you're back to hunting for a, D, uh, a DTB file that matches. So, just some helpful advice as far as device trees. And again, I'll post a link for the device trees. Now, one important note about device tree files is they are paired with the version of Libra Elect. So you'll see here it says device trees, and then above it, that's the version of Libra Elect that I'm using. Those device tree files match to the version of Libra Elect. So you can't go back to a, uh, like say version seven of Libra Elect and try to use this device tree file because they won't match, it won't work. So just something to, to keep in mind for your future upgrades. The DTB file must match or must be paired with the correct version of Libra Elect. In this case, this is the correct pairing. You just need to find the right one that works for your particular version of the A95X. So hopefully you've persevered and you're now looking at the gorgeous screen that is Cody Krypton. You've given your box a new lease on life. It's running probably better than it ever has from the day you got it in the mail or picked it up at the shop. If my video helped you, please comment, like, you know all that. Comment, like, and subscribe, please. Engagement helps me as a channel. If it didn't help and you're having problems, leave a message. I'll try to help or somebody else may be able to help you. But don't give up. If you have an A95X, we should be able to get you going under Libra Lec. Thanks for watching.